Hey, what's good everybody? Today we're working on something really light, super easy, and very delicious. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, and welcome back to BKC Cooks. I'm Brandon Carpenter, and today we're working on a lemon butter tilapia. Now, full disclaimer, tilapia is not my favorite fish. I mean, not even a little bit. To me, it's bland, doesn't have a lot of flavor, uh, but it's readily available right now, and it takes on flavor really well. So we're gonna make a really great lemon butter sauce. And uh, this is gonna be really light. And it's super easy to do. Doesn't take a lot of time. So let's go. Here's what we'll need. Four pieces of tilapia, either fillets or loins. I'm using loins here. One lemon, I'm gonna juice half of it. I'm gonna slice the other half. A tablespoon of capers. You can find capers by your pickles, peppers, that kind of stuff in the grocery store. I have a half cup of butter, you want to keep this very cold. I have a teaspoon of dried parsley, fresh cracked black pepper, kosher salt, and a half cup of white wine. You're also going to need a shallot and some olive oil. Start by patting your fish dry. You want to make sure you get as much moisture off of these as possible. That way they brown up nicely and they don't just steam up in your skillet. Once you get them patted dry, you just season both sides to taste with kosher salt and fresh cracked black pepper. I have a nice heavy skillet heating up over medium heat. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in there and I'm gonna lay my fish in away from me. I'm only doing three of the four pieces here because I don't wanna overcrowd that pan. I wanna make sure I get those uh, loins nice and brown. So we'll let these go for about two and a half minutes and we'll flip them over. All right, it's been about two and a half minutes. As you can see, it's opaque around the edges. That lets me know that we're getting close. We'll take a look, and that's nicely brown, so we'll flip all these over. Do a little more gracefully than I did, but I still got the job done. So another two and a half minutes, and we'll pull these out. But just put them on a plate, loosely cover them with foil just to keep them warm. And I'm gonna do my final piece of fish here, just a little more oil. And again, lay it in away from you so you don't splash yourself with hot oil. So we got that last piece out. We're gonna cover them with foil. Have a finely minced shallot. I'm gonna drop that down in the pan. Stir it around. I just wanna get these shallots nice and golden brown. Stir and scrape, get some of that stuff up off the bottom of the pan. All that'll be great in your sauce. Now that it's all golden brown, we're gonna hit it with a half cup of white wine. Give everything a good stir. Again, make sure you're scraping. Get all those nice brown bits off the bottom of the pan. And you can see how much that changed color and how that turned brown. That's from all of the uh, brown bits in the pan. And that's where all the flavor is. So we're gonna let this reduce down for about a minute. We're gonna take it off the heat. Turn your heat off, and we'll get our cold butter. Again, it's crucial that you keep your, your butter nice and cold. So we're gonna put all of our butter in, and again, the heat is off. We're just gonna melt this in with the residual heat from the pan, and that's gonna give us a nice, smooth, and velvety sauce. There's enough heat in there to get all of that melted, and without breaking that down and getting it greasy, you have a nice, beautiful sauce just Take your time, swirl it around, let everything melt together. Now I'm gonna add all of the parsley and all of the capers. Make sure you get all of them. And again, just keep swirling this around and just let that butter melt on its own. The fact that you see chunks of butter here and, and it's not all melted and greasy looking, it lets you know you're on the right track. If it's melting slow like that, your sauce is gonna come out really, really nice. Now we'll add the juice of a half lemon. We'll give that a stir. As you see, I still got chunks of butter there. 
that's a very good thing. See those chunks are still holding on, but everything else is melting slowly. We're doing good. Now we'll get our fish in. Give your fish pieces a nice baste. Get them coated in that sauce. And once you have them all in there, get all the juices off the plate. Give them a good baste. Swirl all that stuff around. Get all those flavors mixing. Make everything super delicious. Now we'll give it a little taste for salt and pepper. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt and pepper to this. And again, it's all to your taste. Mix that around really well, and then we're ready to serve. All right, y'all, so here's the finished product. Some beautiful, gorgeous sauce here. Some fantastic looking fish. Let's get into it. Fish is nice and moist. That sauce is mwah, like it always is. But this is really easy to do, y'all. And you can use this with just about any kind of fish. Uh, if you go to a restaurant and order this with salmon, they're gonna get fancy, they call this salmon piccata. You can also do this with veal. Same preparation, but just about any good firm fish, this preparation would be really nice on. Yeah. Again, it takes tilapia to a whole new level. So thanks for tuning in, y'all. Do me a favor, leave your comments. Click that bell, click that subscribe button so you know when I drop a new video. And good evening, y'all. Take care.